The Price Academy, bite-sized history videos. Edith Pretty was responsible for the excavation of the Anglo-Saxon ship Burial at Sutton Hoo, one of the most important discoveries in British archaeology. In a stunning act of generosity in 1939, Pretty donated all of the finds, including the famous Sutton Hoo helmet, to the British Museum. Edith Pretty arranged the excavation of the earth mounds of her Suffolk home in 1938-1939, where the Sutton Hoo Anglo-Saxon ship burial was discovered. It proved to be the richest intact burial ever found in medieval Europe and contained a chamber full of treasures. The finds included Byzantine silverware, sumptuous gold jewellery, a lavish feasting set and most famously an ornate iron helmet. Pretty was born into a wealthy family and educated at Rodin. She travelled extensively throughout her youth visiting Pompeii, the Egyptian pyramids and other significant digs with her father. It sparked a love of history and archaeology which would give her the vision to excavate the Sutton Hoo ship later in life. Pretty spent much of World War I volunteering at a Red Cross hospital in France. With no formal medical training, she embraced the task, working with casualties, of the Western Front and witnessing terrible carnage. Edith kept in touch with her fiancé, Frank Pretty, throughout the war and subsequent travels to Africa, marrying him in 1926 at the age of 42. The Pretties moved into the sprawling Sutton Hill estate near Ipswich in 1926. This is Sutton Hoo House, the home Edith shared with her husband, Frank. Four years after marrying Frank, at age 47, Edith gave birth to their only son, Robert, in 1930. Unfortunately, Frank died a few years later on his 56th birthday in 1934. He left behind Edith and their then four-year-old son, On the estate that the Pretties lived were strange mounds. The mounds seemed to have long interest Edith. One theory as to why she had the mounds investigated is that in the late 1930s, one of her friends was said to have looked out from the house and claimed to see a ghostly vision on one of the burial mounds that lay on her estate. Pretty had the vision to dig. From experience her father's excavations at Bale Royal and from knowledge gained from her travels in Egypt, she knew that a professional excavation was needed. She consulted the curator of the Ipswich Corporation Museum, Guy Maynard, and appointed local amateur archaeologist Basil Brown to start the work. Basil started work in June 1938. He was assisted by Sutton Hoo estate labourers Ben Fuller and Tom Sawyer during the day and the undergardener's son Leslie Buckle in the evening. Pretty oversaw the excavations herself for two years and when the largest mound unearthed what looked like a huge burial ship, she knew it was of enormous historical significance. At that stage, expert Charles Phillips from Selwyn College at Cambridge University took over. Archaeologist Peggy Piggott was called back from her holiday along with her husband Stuart to excavate the burial chamber. Peggy was to be the first to find gold. The grave goods were spectacular, an enormous gold buckle, a jewelled wooden instrument, silver bowls and gold coins, gold clasps ornamented with garnet and glass, and the iconic Sutton Hoo helmet. The scale of the discoveries exceeded Pretty's hopes, and a curator from the British Museum declared the dig one of the most important archaeological discoveries of all time. A 
treasure trove inquest held in 1939 determined that the treasure belonged to Britty. Within days, he had generously donated all of it to the British Museum. In recognition, Prime Minister Winston Churchill nominated Pretty for a CBA. She declined. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like and subscribe to the channel or follow me at Twitter or at Facebook at TanyRelics38.